ఎప్పుడు ఇప్పుడు ఎప్పుడు ఆంధ్ర హాస్పిటల్స్ మన హాస్పిటల్స్ I never checked my body. Gods are nature's amazing creation. Except the time. <laughs> <laughs> I am AP Lali. Uh, basically, I am a human rights activist and a lawyer. Uh, I am from Guntur. I would like to tell you something uh, regarding what happened in my life uh, this uh, past uh, few weeks. Last month, uh, all of a sudden I got a pain in my stomach and I fell down I can't even bear the pain of it then immediately I searched it and somebody was telling that maybe it is a like a, like a stone in my kidney they go for some injection or some tablet for for an immediate relief again the next day again the same it happened then I immediately from Gundur, one of the top hospitals, I admitted immediately, they have put me and they have taken me to the ICU. The doctor has given the stand also. Then after two, two, three weeks, he has given some medicine or something like that. Lacks of rupees I spent there. I did not get any, any cure and all. My daughter, uh, to, uh, taken from the hospital to the Andhra, old Andhra hospital in Vajayawada. Dr. Kaushik was telling, you go for a CT scan. Sir, at least you remove that uh, uh, stand from my aunt's uh, uh, kidney. So he removed the stand from me and again he forced me. He said, go and get a CT scan. For what purpose you have done that uh, stand in your uh, uh, the right kidney? Then he could understand the seriousness of, seriousness of what is happening in my right kidney. It's a carcinoma. You have to go immediately. Today itself you have to... Uh, get the admission and tomorrow or tonight or tomorrow you'll get the operation. I was so scared. First of all, my age, my children, my tension, my trauma, money issues. So everything. He, he gave me the counseling. Once the counseling was over, he gave me the, the trust. He created a trust in me in all areas. I, I was before I go to the surgery, then I said, Doctor, if I wear a sari, all the cut marks and everything will be appearing to the people. The latest equipments we have, we can see everything, only one or two holes will be there. So now, now I am talking to you this, hardly 21st I admitted in Andhra Hospital, 22nd I got operated. To 22nd evening itself, I, I started walking. He made me to walk from the ICU, in the ICU itself. Then we only just three to four days I spent in Andhra hospital and all credit goes to Dr. Kaushik. God has given or my parents have given a personality life to me and this is a second life because I came out from the carcinoma. Now only a small mark, only 13 days I completed now. Two, three things I just want to tell you. Every six month or one year, kindly go for a checkup. You do it and find out the very first early stage itself you find out this. Then you can have a long life. And second thing is, carcinoma is not like a, like a, oh, you are counting days and, and, and it is not like that. Once it get cured, you don't need to go for the chemotherapy or any other therapy, nothing else. Like, like me, you can again, you can run like a horse. My life should have gone if I should not have come here. A team of doctors, they were there. How lovely. And within 14 days, I am now came to before you and I'm talking to you. And whatever your doctor say, you, you take care of that advice and lead a good life. So, uh, it's amazing to hear uh, uh, Mrs. Lali's inspiring story. Uh, I would call it really inspiring because she has come out from fear, a ray of hope. The word cancer itself can create 90% psychological pain to you. The disease damages only 10% to you. But the fear, the psychological trauma, it causes 90% damage. So, the journey of Miss Lali is going to be the 90% doctor for you. So henceforth, she is not a patient to me. She is a 90% doctor to all of us. So don't get the fear. Don't be afraid by just hearing the word cancer. In today's world, with the amazing technology we have and the ability to pick up things at a very early stage, you can give an absolute cure to any disease that you have. And also, 
we can give the cure with the least possible pain to you so i would suggest you to go for an annual screening after your age of 50 years and if you could pick up things in this early stage we can cure them completely as well as cure them without much pain to you this is the story of miss lali and keep inspiring us and keep getting your uh, screening done and keep your health good state have a healthy mind do a regular exercise and lead a healthy life